What's up y'all, it's your girl Kendra and today I am gonna talk about my water fasting experience. I don't wanna hold y'all up, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um. Yeah. Okay y'all, so pretty much this started with me or this started out with me have being fluffy AF um, I had pre-hypertension, I was addicted to food, and some had to give, like, so I went to look, and mind you, my doctor was like, you need to lose 10 pounds, and I'm not going to medicate you right now, you just need to lose 10 pounds, and we'll go from there, um, come back and see me in a couple of months, or whatever, so, cool, so I got into YouTubing a lot of things, I YouTubed, um, water fasting, how to lose, I, I probably went through a million and one YouTube videos on losing weight, and fasting and I ran into um, like favorable videos on people fasting so I'm like okay well maybe that's something I can try so um, I've looked up like different type of fasting like water fasting dry fasting um, just different type of fasting and different time periods too like different time spans so some people will fast for like two or three days some people will fast for a week some people will fast for 30 days and I was like you know what I want to try this so I actually opted for the seven day um, water fast so you know what's so crazy is I did it unintentionally like pretty much I woke up one morning and I was like so busy that I forgot to eat breakfast because I had been researching it already and I had already heard from my doctor so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna jump into it I was late eating that day I was so busy washing cleaning doing all that stuff that I forgot to eat and it was like 3 p.m. when I when I looked and I'm like oh you know maybe I could start my fasting now so that's what I did um, the first day was super easy. I was busy, whatever. It wasn't a big deal. And I have, um, like, notes here that I wrote during the time that I was actually fasting. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm just going over it just to make sure that I'm giving y'all all of the information because it was a lot. I don't want to leave anything out. So the first day, it was good. Like, I didn't even feel it. I didn't even realize that I was fasting. I was, I think it's because I kept myself busy. Um, by the time the second day started, it was so hard. Like... <laughs> I don't think y'all understand it was so hard like I started having like hunger pains loud growls like in my stomach people were like you hungry you you good I'm like oh my goodness it was the worst the second day was the absolute worst like I didn't even know how I got through that day because it was so crazy um, by the time the third day came the third um, lo and behold the third day was better I wasn't as hungry the stomach pains and everything stopped um, and it, it was just a lot more easy. I felt that my energy was a little off, but definitely I wasn't hungry. I wasn't getting all those hunger pains and growls and craziness. I wasn't going through any of that. Um, by the time the fourth day came, I was a little groggy. Um, like irritated with everything. Everybody got on my nerve. My energy had my energy kept replenishing. So at that point, everything was getting on my nerve. At work, I work corporate deal with a lot of people oh everybody was getting on on my nerve but you know what i'm leaving out this was a water fast but by the second day when i was super hungry i went to youtubing what can i do like what can i take that won't break my um what my water fast so i ran into something called the snake juice now that concussion or it, it actually included um apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, Himalayan salt, and no salt. It's a such thing, it's something called no salt. But it's like really potassium. So when I ran into the snake juice, the ingredients that he had, it was way too much Himalayan salt for me. Already I'm dealing with, at this moment, I'm dealing with prehypertension. So I'm like, I can't, I can't take that much salt. I'm not gonna do it. So I altered it to my liking. Um, and it pretty much worked. It worked for me um, once I started, this was the second day, mind y'all. So um, once I started taking the um, the snake juice, I, I felt a little better. But again, like I said, the, th the third day I felt like my energy was off. The fourth day my energy kept going down. Everything was irritating me. I was groggy, like nothing would satisfy me at that moment. I think, you know what's so crazy? The fifth day I started feeling a little uneasy. Um, like my, like I had like little muscle cramps here and there. Like it wasn't a big deal. And then when I took a shower, I felt like kind of faintyish, like I felt like I would faint, but really I wouldn't. So I would make my showers really quick. Now, the sixth day, here we are. We're at the sixth day, and um, 
the muscle cramps got worse. They were all over my body. They were in my back and my legs and my arms. I couldn't sleep. I kept tossing and turning while I'm sleeping. I could not believe what I was going through. It was so painful. And I was like, my husband's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. He's like, no, if you don't eat something tomorrow, I'm gonna call I'm, you. I'm you going to go. I'm gonna take you to the to the um, hospital. I'm like, I don't need to go to the hospital. I got to do this because he knows that I'm like an overachiever. So he had my back. He kept asking me, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And he was like, he was on a close eye because he's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling kind of feel, feeling kind of crazy about this like I don't think you should continue I'm like I got one more day I know I can do it I know I can do it mind you this is so painful like it's, it was so crazy I couldn't believe those muscle spasms like it felt like needles were sticking me all over my body I could not stay still it was so crazy um, by the sixth day I started looking into what I can do to break my fast so that, so that I don't like upset my stomach or do anything and I found out that you can do um, some broth or some watermelon, something like, something water-based, like a lot of water. So um, I had him the sixth day go and buy all kind of broth and um, watermelon, just little stuff like that to keep in the fridge so that I was ready the seventh day because I felt like I was about to die. Like literally I felt like I was about to die by the sixth day. I could not believe all those pains. So now the seventh day roll around, I cannot get out of bed. I absolutely cannot get out of bed. I'm vomiting bile. I found that it was bile later, but it was greenish yellow, and I'm just vomiting, vomiting. And mind you, I hadn't eaten anything. And another thing that I wanted, what? another thing that I wanted to tell y'all is that um, even though I hadn't eaten anything for like three or four days. I was still having BMs. Like y'all would not understand. Y'all, y'all don't believe that, do you? I had a bowel movement at least once or twice every single day for four days straight in the first four days of my water fasting and I didn't know I didn't understand why I was still having bowel movement I'm like I'm not eating anything so how is it that I'm still using the bathroom doing the number two so after I looked it up and everything I found out that it was actually pretty much that I was full of shit so to present that on a lower tone on a softer tone it was like we don't realize how much backed up how much our system is backed up you know what I'm saying and that's pretty much what that is and I could not believe that that actually that was blown away by that um, so I couldn't get out the bed the seventh day again I'm still having these muscle pains um, it was just I could not I'm vomiting greenish yellow stuff I could not believe what I was going through but you know what? I got through it, and um, I'm happy for that. And what I gained out of that is I was able to um, kick my um, addiction for food. Sometimes I'll ha pick a day or two where I fast today, and then I'll eat tomorrow. Or, you know, I still, I'm still doing it, and that's how I'm able to keep my weight down or how much pounds I lost. I actually lost, in an entire week, I lost two pounds a day. So would you believe that I lost 14 pounds? It worked, but I almost died. When it came time for me to eat again, it's like I didn't want to eat again. Everything I ate when I started to eat, because my husband brought me like watermelon and then my husband brought me like literally the seventh day at 12 midnight. My husband was running upstairs with watermelons. I will vomit that up. Um, he ran upstairs with um, broth. I vomit that up. Like I couldn't keep anything down. Thus, that made me feel worse. It, it put me in a, in a space that like... I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I needed to keep eating, even though my stomach or even though I didn't want to keep eating, I knew I needed to keep eating. And that's the only way that I could feel better. So um, I would do, at first I started out with like watermelon, like two of a couple bites of watermelon, probably like 10 minutes later, I'm vomiting. Then two hours later, I'm like, let me try the broth. Try a little bit, like probably like just a little shot of, um, of broth vomiting. Um, then I kept trying the watermelon because it seemed like my stomach worked better with the watermelon than it did with the broth. So I kept trying the watermelon every two hours I would take. Like if I took two bites this the first time, I would vomit. The next time I took it, and I did this in two hour increments. So the next time I took it, it would be three bites, but then I would vomit. So, you know, eventually by 
the next day, the eighth day, probably by like 6 p.m. on the eighth day, I was actually able to maintain an entire slice of watermelon so it's really critical and I need for y'all to understand that honestly truthfully if you guys are having um, any type of eating disorder or rapid weight loss fasting probably maybe just in the way that I did it is not for you it was scary at first because I'm just like I'm really gonna die because even after going through all of that and then trying to eat and I couldn't keep any anything down after going through all of that and then trying to eat and then I couldn't keep anything down I felt like that was like it was so many emotions going through me and so many thoughts and I'm just like Lord I know I'm not about to die right now but I kept going and I kept pushing and I pushed through. so yeah pretty much I don't have anything um, high blood pressure related anymore so the prehypertension is out the window um, I have the willpower to say no. I'm not like addicted to food like I was. I can definitely turn down those donuts or turn down those chips and not feel any way about it. Um, so, but I really wouldn't recommend that you just jump straight into a seven day water fast. Like I would definitely like try a day, probably eat, try two days, probably eat because that was hard y'all. Like I literally almost died and I was like, it was, it was crazy. I'm crazy. Um, but I did it and I'm happy that I did it. Will I do it again in the same manner? No, but I am training myself at the moment to be able to sustain longer periods, but I'm doing it one day at a time or two days at a time or three days at a time versus just jumping straight into it. I was crazy for that. Um, so if you guys are actually looking into water fasting, I would definitely look into the snake juice um, diet or water fast. Um, it worked for me and um, I mean, I definitely had to tweak um, the ingredients, but that's okay. You guys can tweak the ingredients to your liking because it still worked. I think I lost, I'm pretty sure I lost two pounds each day or maybe I lost three and then one. But it, all together, I definitely lost 14 pounds. So um, the fasting is really good. I was able to detox my system. Um, now I have BMs on the regular. Usually I will go a day probably without having any BM at all, but now I actually have BMs on the regular. And um, and that's probably TMI, but I'm, I'm just being honest. So I feel like I have accomplished and I feel very achieved and I'm happy about what I was able to do. Um, if you guys decide to water fast, let me know. Like, Or if you have done a water fast, then how you did your water fast or dry fast. If you have done any type of fasting, put it in the comments below and let me know what it is that you did, what it is that you would recommend going forward for me. And um, I look forward to reading all of you guys' comments and just seeing like what the options are and what's out there and what's better or what's not. You know, definitely read everything and put everything into perspective. Um, thank you for watching my um, video about my fasting experience. It definitely wasn't easy, but I got through it and I'm so happy for that. Make sure that you like the video and make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any more of my videos. Thank you.